go friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to be trying out some Japanese snacks! So this is Pretz and Pretz is like a snack that comes in a stick form and it looks completely unassuming but it's packed with flavour. So this one is the corn flavour and you see it's really cute, they've got really adorable packaging. It's like a Mickey Mouse book of corn! It's a corny book. Okay, it's like Mickey Mouse in the front and it's corn at the back! Guys, look at this! This is a heart, you know? Ayo, kawaii! So Pretz has like super a lot of different flavours but you take them all out and they all look like this. But when you try it, it's like BOOM! Yes! This is so good! It really tastes like the corn potage thing. The corn potage is this thing from Daiso that's super famous that tastes like corn soup. So this really tastes like corn soup. So if I just call this corn, I think it'll be totally underselling it. That's very, very basic. This is more like corn and like a lot of other things. I mean with the packaging and the box and the flavouring and everything. I'll give this a 10 out of 10. Here, we have a Japanese sake Kit Kat. This sake Kit Kat is so interesting. It's got a 0.8% alcoholic content. So I'm interested to see how this tastes. I'm sorry. But do you know how big this box is? That's it! I'm not even sure if there's 10 in... Mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no. I was right! Not even 10! Ooh, I can smell the alcohol. I can really smell the alcohol. That's interesting. This is really good! Mm. It's like this ricey, grainy kind of flavour that comes out. There's a little bit of alcoholic content, you can smell it. What's interesting is, it just feels like there's more chocolate to the wafer than regular because like that chocolate just melts around the biscuit. Like I think if it's like more biscuit, it wouldn't be as nice anymore but it's enough chocolate to make you taste the sake and enough biscuit to make it a Kit Kat. Wow, then, then. This is so good! So as somebody who's not a massive fan of sake, I love this because sometimes I realise when they put alcohol into the chocolate, it doesn't quite gel together. It's alcohol and chocolate. But this is alcoholic chocolate. I love this! This is a- Can I have another one? <laughs> Can I have another one? So this is a very special Kit Kat from the Kit Kat Chocolatery. So the Kit Kat Chocolatery is a Kit Kat boutique and you can get like super exclusive flavours. In fact, the boutique itself is very exclusive because I didn't even know it existed. So they only have these in like selected cities around the world. Look at this chef. I don't know who he is, I don't know what he does. There's a lot of Japanese words, but he looks very professional. So there are four flavours inside here. Pistachio, raspberry, strawberry, maple, butter. And here we have Green tea and kinako. So first, let's go with the pistachio raspberry. Right now, I find it okay. Like, I think it's very exciting because it's like pistachio and raspberry. I've never seen that kind of combination before. And usually, Kit Kat only has like one flavour, whereas this one has like two flavours put together. So rating for the pistachio raspberry, I would give it a... 7? Nothing like super remarkable or incredibly special but it's still a good Kit Kat. So something I noticed about this packaging is that there's a little area here with a pen. So I'm assuming that it's for you to write down the name of the person you're giving this to. Maybe it's so special that you don't give the whole box, you just give one. Let's try this strawberry maple. I can't taste too much of the maple but I can definitely feel the maple presence. It's okay. <laughs> I'm really wanting to like love this, love this because it's like so exclusive. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. <laughs> oh no, I'm like totally dissing on that. I feel like I'm committing a crime. I feel like this is blasphemous or something. Like I shouldn't be allowed to do this. They're like, get your hands off our Kit Kat. So this one is butter. It's the butter Kit Kat. I'm very excited about this because I really like butter. This is really interesting and it's got like a whiff of like the savouriness that butter has but it's still more sweet than savoury. I never thought butter could be put into chocolate. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Okay, so green tea and kinako. I really like this. The kinako gives the green tea Kit Kat a much earthier flavour. It makes the green tea Kit Kat feel like a lot less sweet. This 
I prefer to the normal green tea Kit Kat just because it's got a, a more layers in the flavour. I'll give this a 10 out of 10. So jelly drinks are very popular in Japan and I love jelly drinks. So this flavour is Pokemon Musket. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's very liquidy. The flavour is not full. It's got that grape smell. It's got a hint of the grape taste but the flavouring to me feels a little bit too artificial. So not a huge, huge fan of this one. So you can taste the sweetness of the sugar but not necessarily the entire flavour of the grape or the jelly. So the texture of this drink is very soft. You could actually like swallow without like chewing or anything. I feel like it's okay only. I would give it a 4 because I feel like it's not quite worth the calories. But I give it a 6 because it's very cute. So 5! There we go. Well, Pokey is something that's very common in Asia and normally you get the regular flavours like strawberry, chocolate, but this one is like the glamorous, aspirational Pokey. <laughs> this is like orange peel flavour and it's got orange peel, like I think cocoa powder and like chocolate. So they call it like the Trinity. So regular Pokey are usually a lot smaller than these. The sticks are thinner and then the amount of coating on it is also much less. These bits are actually orange peel that's been coated in chocolate and then they mixed it up in more chocolate and they dipped it in. The milk chocolate which is on the stick mixes really well with the dark chocolate which is coating the orange peel. So this is really nice. I would give this like a 10 out of 10 because it's, it's everything it says it will be and it's pretty. I always, I don't need this part of the stick. <laughs> There's no chocolate on it. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> so this is a mini croissant that is creme brulee flavoured. So right now, it smells a lot like the caramel corn snack, which is also by the same brand. So I'm not smelling any creme brulee. There's even a bit of like coffee thing going on, but no creme brulee yet. Okay, so they kind of look like little mini croissant puffs. The texture is like a harder version of the caramel corn. Caramel corn is quite airy, correct? It's very light. This one has got a glaze on the top of it, so there's a bit of a crack when you go through. I'm very torn right now because you see, right? It's supposed to be a croissant that's like creme brulee flavoured or at least like vanilla flavoured or something. I would eat this. I would so eat this because it's tasty and it's sweet and there's a bit of that burnt flavour on this like sugar glaze. It's just that I can't taste the flavours that they're talking about. So overall, it's still a good snack. I would give this like an 8. But it's not like a uh, creme brulee croissant. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to find out more about the products and where we got them from, go to the Featured Products album on the Tried and Tested Facebook page. And also, have you downloaded the Click Network app so you can watch the videos one month before it goes on YouTube? Say yes! <laughs> okay, very good. Anyway, that's it from us. In the meantime, go be beautiful. <laughs>